Hey, Bhanu, you are up next. Hey, thanks. Let me know if I can see my screen, enter screen. I will say it. Yes, I can. Please go ahead. You have four and a half, five minutes. Thank you. So, what I'm going to talk about is how do you how do you build a code search engine, which is primarily for small teams and you know for for your own personal needs. At Grammar, we use GitLab to actually save all our repository um, to to save all our code to a repository. And then uh, you know maintain CI/CD and 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 push the code regularly and so on. But whenever someone wants to uh, search for a code, right? What developers usually do is go to uh, go online, maybe search for a specific module and see, and then modify the search results to see it's not exactly fitting their needs. And they go to their own previous code, uh, previous code bases. And try to uh, find the right sample, and then and then configure it further. What I'm now proposing is a a, a very fine-tuned search engine, which is specific to your need, which is what uh, most of our use cases are. And um, and show you how to do that using simple NLP techniques. So I'm just going to uh, show you if you want to use if I want to define cache uh, for my endpoints. I mean, whenever you you create your your APIs, you you don't want to fetch your data each and every uh, each and every time. You want to cache it for a certain period of time. Uh, for a certain period of time, if they are static files like JavaScript or maybe some data files, you may want to cache it for a long time, maybe one year. So, and if you go to GitLab and search for let's say how do you cache, right? Because that's something you do. You you realize that there are no results, and then you actually need to select some project. Let's say I will select some project called Grammar Charts. Even here, it is going to show me a bunch of results out of which I am to I have to find out what my YAML file is, and then and then figure out the right snippet for that. So instead of that, what Discover provides is you can just search for the keyword cache, and depending on whatever you have indexed, it's going to prompt you results. For those from those specific projects, and you can click this specific link and look for the cache, and then and then just copy paste the snippet either from here or maybe from uh, wherever you had the search searches. So how does this work? You can just con go to the configure window, uh, and then add some specific project, and then submit a request for 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 indexing. This is the UI aspect of it, but in the background, this is what is happening. So, let's say I mean, I've shown you the example for for YAML files, but if you were to search for Python files, how do you do it? You take every Python function, every Python file, and 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 identify all the functions in the in the specific script, and within each each function, you you then identify. The function name, doc string, function calls within the specific function, and also the method calls. Uh, you then stringify each of it, uh, maybe uh, you know, split it, and then identify if there are uh, if, if if the function name is let's say function underscore name, maybe split it by underscore. I mean, all these naked case uh, strings, and if you have camel case strings also, let's say function uh, function name with with n caps, you also split that. You do the same for each and every string in the function name, box string, and also the function calls and the method calls, and then you form the whole entire string, uh, whole whole uh, document, right? Then you do a TF IDF on on top of that. What that will then give you is a matrix of uh, matrix of rows and columns. Each column will be your single word. Each row is a function you're trying to identify, depending on how deep you want to go. They're saying maybe you want to just identify the file first, and then you want to identify which specific function I'm looking for. Okay. Um, cool. So I, I hope you liked it. If you want to check out, go to uh, slash discover workshop. Thank you.